And I'm to the point that I think society has to come to a thresh threshold where there's some people that aren't worth saving. We need to build warehouses to put these people into it and lock them away for the rest of their lives. Some point we have to get to, to the point that we lock these people up. We, we have an agent assigned to each and every person that goes through the court system. And if they can't complete high school, if they get in trouble in high school, if they have a criminal record, if they do drive-by shootings, if they uh, sell or give heroin to other people, if they come and steal thousands of dollars, if we don't think this costs society and the people of our community and our nation, if, it, if we don't think that that costs us billions of dollars, you're wrong. Let's put them in jail. Let's, let's stop them from truly, at least some of these males going out and getting 10 other women pregnant and having small children. Let's put them away. At some point, we have to stop being politically correct. And I don't care what race, I don't care how old they are. If there's a threshold that they cross, these people have to be warehoused. No recreational time in the jails. We put them away. We put them away for the rest of their lives so that the rest of us can be better. In this country, in this community, in this state, we have to get to the point that we no longer will put up with the garbage people that fill our communities, that are our cancer to our society. The ones that do uh, carjackings in Milwaukee, they go into a car while their child is in the back seat because it's running and they're filling it up with gas. These people are not an asset to society. These people just need to flat out go away. Yep. And this is the sheriff that we're expected to believe wasn't recruiting th this militia, this right wing militia that the 17 year old shooter Kyle Rittenhouse was a part of to join their forces. We're supposed to believe that they didn't have a friendly relationship, even as we see the police giving them waters and being all cozy with them. We're supposed to believe that guy wasn't in favor of that terrorist-esque group. I mean, basically, what a disgusting person. This was his reaction to multiple young black people robbing a store and then being chased and, and driving recklessly away from it. This is an article about the incident. No one died. They didn't torture someone or commit multiple murders. It was a robbery. And he says that they should be locked away and warehoused from society. <laughs> I wonder why the cops in this area are racist. Fish rots from the head down. But again, the entire structure of policing in this country incentivizes racism. It's built on white supremacy. It's built on militarism. That's what this is. So he goes, oh yeah, if you have uh, multiple kids, you do badly in school, you should be locked up. I wonder who he's trying to talk about there. It's really vile. So the story, I actually, I saw a trending on Twitter, a clip, and then I went and you saw more than the, the, the clip that was trending because I went back to the archives and watched the whole thing. I mean, it was blood boiling. So the only outlet thus far that's really reported on this video, this unearthed video from 2018 is TMZ. So I'm using them as a source right now, not my favorite, but th they provided a decent amount of information about this. Kenosha County Sheriff David Beth went on a disgusting rant in 2018, suggesting that five arrested suspects, all black, were quote, not worth saving and should be locked up for life all over a retail theft and car chase incident. Sheriff Beth who's in the public spotlight following the shooting of Jacob Blake and subsequent riots in Kenosha that led to two people being killed, used the phrase these people multiple times as he described how he believed they should be warehoused so as not to allow the men to procreate. The sheriff went on to say, it's time to stop being politically correct. And though he specifically claimed race was not a factor, he insisted these people should be put away for good. The case that got Beth so riled up was a retail theft in a mall that led to a car chase and a two car crash. At the time, Beth said he was so angered because the suspects hit another car being driven by a 16 year old who just got his license, though nobody was seriously injured. All the five suspects aged 16 to 23 were all from Milwaukee and were charged with felony retail theft and obstruction. How does poverty not enter your brain for reasons behind the crime? Well, because you're a racist. Poor white people, I'm sure he sympathizes with and can empathize with, but if you're poor and black and it leads you down the road of trying to 
steal from somewhere. He's got no empathy. Locked up for life so you can't procreate. That is white supremacy through and through, and it's a, infected our police departments, and we can even see it here in this national spotlight when we're talking about Kenosha, Wisconsin.